Hey there friends, I am Abhijit, an intern in GMC Nagpur and in this video I will be telling you all about how to study for a PG entrance exam. First, let's start the syllabus. Whatever we study in the 4 and a half years of MBBS can be asked. So you need to start early and you need to start studying with a plan. The first and the most important thing in the syllabus is the study material that you use. If you ask me, my opinion will be that the study material should be a mixture between what you learn plus what the respective coaching classes or the colleges tell you. So that will form a single notebook. One notebook per subject that will be 19 subjects and 19 notebooks. That is going to be your target for the next four and a half years of MBBS. Now which source to follow for this PG entrance exam preparation? Let me tell you, the best source is the one that you are going to trust. And the best mentors, the best teachers are the ones that can solve your doubts and give you the notes in concise way. It is very important that you can speak freely to your teachers. For example, in my school days, I was kind of a shy, introverted person. So what used to happen was even when I was paying attention in the class, there were some doubts. And um, because of my shy nature or some other reasons, I just could not ask the doubts to the teachers in class. So most of the doubts were left unanswered and some of the concepts were not clear. Fortunately, both of my parents are teachers, so they used to help me a bit in the studies. I was actually afraid of asking questions because those questions felt wrong or silly to ask. By the time I was an MBBS first year student, this became a kind of habit, a very bad habit. And in the first year itself, I came to know that self-study can let you reach up to a point only. The doubts that you have, the questions left unanswered will definitely weaken your preparation and weaken your subject. So basically, in the PG preparation, this is going to be a big, big problem. Fortunately, in the first few years of MBBS itself, I got some amazing teachers. Dr. Anjit A.R. Sir, Dr. M.J. Micro, Dr. Jagdish Sir, Dr. Rajesh Jamulkar Sir. All of them helped me with their unique teaching and the smart note-taking strategies. For example, Dr. Rajesh Sir taught me that biochemistry is all about memorizing the cycles. And whatever the part is, we will mnemonics to prepare for it. For example, Dr. Ranji Sir taught me that pathology is not just the bulk of Robbins. It actually has logic and meaning behind every step of the way. And Dr. MJ Micro Ma'am taught me how these silly little mnemonics, how these silly doubts and jokes can help me remember Micro for such a long time. Recently, I came to know that all these teachers are a faculty in PW MedEd app. These are all the teachers that I trust and I can tell you that they'll be a big big help in your PG preparations. The app in itself is at an affordable price and if you use my code ABHIABI, you'll get a 5% off on that. So make sure you check out the app, the link is in the description. Now after making notes for the 19 subjects and finishing the syllabus, the next thing you need to do is revisions. Unless you are Sheldon Cooper with an ecdatic memory, you will have to do 3 revisions of the total subject. And those three revisions will have to be done within one year of the PG entrance exam. Always remember that your memory is going to fail you. There is no way that you can remember 19 subjects in just single read or two reads. You'll have to trust yourself and your hard work that revisions ke baad bhi kuch cheeze hogi jo main miss karunga. And for that, you need to make your 20th notebook during your revisions. That 20th notebook should be a blank book with no lines or pages so that you can draw your mind maps and your creativity in it. Because what you'll write will be what you will remember in the exams. In the beginning, your notes will look something like this. The little scribbles here and there, it will not be very good and it will not be very useful to be honest. But as you practice harder and harder, you'll improve your skills of concise note taking and your notes should look like this. This 20th book is actually the book that you will read in the last 15 days of the exam in which you will feed all the facts in your short term memory so that the memory won't fail you. Lastly, during the revision times, always always follow the timetable there will be many days where you will fall sick where you'll be asked for internship where the college will be more demanding maybe you are engaged in research or you are making a youtube video whatever it is there will be days that will eat out your time and you will not be able to complete that target and that day you will have to skip that target and you will have to move ahead with your schedule with your timetable you can cover up that backlog in the buffer days that you'll keep but 
remember that always follow the timetable no matter what next thing we need to talk about is the timetable itself that is the time to study during the last one year of preparation i think that anywhere between 4 to 8 hours of dedicated study will be enough for you to get a rank during that period you should only read the important topics and reading the textbook should be avoided as much as possible during the revision times you need to remember that the time taken for a particular subject depends on you and your understanding of the subject still for a rough idea let me tell you the first year subjects ana and physio biochem should be done within 12 days the second year subjects patho pharma micro should be done within 15 days then the rattamar subjects like psm and fmt should be done within 9 days the subjects ent and ophthalm are short and you can finish them within 5 days the short subjects skin anesthesia radiology ortho psychiatry should be done within 15 days and the big four of the final year medicine surgery obstetrics and gynecology and pediatrics will take you anywhere around 30 days so that's 86 days plus or minus 4 days of buffer so that if a target is missed you can complete it in this four days so in total of 90 days that is 3 months you should be able to finish one revision at least your first revision and that should be your target now the next question is is it necessary to study all the time every day basically should we take holidays every 1.5 to 2 hours of study should be accompanied by a break because this machine has a burnout time you cannot just expect it to work at full power 24/7 so breaks are very necessary in your routine make sure that you plan it in such a way that maybe your lunch or your evening tea or your dinner falls in the breaks between studies so that you can maximize the utilization of the day now naturally while studying this vast syllabus and going through all this college internship and other crap that you are going through in your life you are going to experience burnout in one or the other ways it's all right you will have to take days off when this burnout hits you that's why holidays are very 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 important if you complete your target for 6 days straight with determination and efforts and use your 100% you should take half of the seventh day off us aadhe din ki chutti to tumhe chahiye because this brain is going to need relaxation time is going to need recreation time so if your friends ask you to meet up for half an hour or so please go meet them please greet them please have that time please have that dopamine boost so that you get and stay motivated for the study session next time so let's just assume that you have finished your first revision you have taken breaks and your mental and physical health is at a top class so what's next Next comes MCQs. Keep a daily target of solving at least 100 MCQs. It is going to be impossible in the first few days. So start with 5 MCQs a day, then 10, then 20, 25, 30, 50, and slowly but surely by the end of third or fourth month you will gain a consistency of solving 100 MCQs a day. Now how to solve it? My strategy is that I divide MCQs into three parts. First ones that are right. जो सही है बस वो सही है एक्सप्लेनेशन पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं सेकेंड वंस विच आर रॉन्ग नो मैटर इफ इट इज अलिस्टिक नो मैटर इफ इट इज अचुअल इन करेक्शन एनी थिंग गोज इफ इट्स अ रॉन्ग एमसीक्यू यू विल रीड इट थर्ड इज द स्किप क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर स्किपिंग अ क्वेश्चन यू विल रीड द एंसर टू दैट क्वेश्चन यू विल रीड द एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड यू विल रीड दैट टॉपिक फ्रॉम योर नोट्स सो दैट यू कैन गेट एन ओवरऑल व्यू ऑफ वॉट यू मिस्ड सो दैट्स the mcqs in the beginning you will not get an idea of how many mcqs to solve or which mcqs to skip so over the course of next 12 months of preparation your target should be to know which mcqs to attempt and which mcqs to skip so that in the exams you don't get baffled uh, i'll say that if you are targeting a high score or you are targeting a higher branch or college like aims you should attempt as many questions as possible while attempting the questions in a grand test or a test or maybe your revision exams you will find three types of traps first trap is the trap of new topics every exam is going to have some or the other new topics if it is not in your notes if it is not important and if you cannot learn it skip that new topic ek question chhoot jaye to kuch nahi hota you are not going to target the 100% you are going to target 80 to 90% because topper ko bhi solve nahi milte so if it's a new topic don't burden your brain if you cannot learn it it's all right skip it focus on the basics second trap known topics which you did not read well that's a problem if it is a known topic in your notes and you did not read it bhai notes kholo 
पढ़ो समझो रट्टा मार लो दीज टॉपिक्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दीज टॉपिक्स कैन बी आस्क रिपीटेडली इन द एग्जाम सो इनको स्किप नहीं करना है एंड थर्ड वन इज द नोन टॉपिक दैट यू मेड अ सिली मिस्टेक इन नाउ आई पर्सनली डोंट बिलीव इन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिली मिस्टेक्स सिली मिस्टेक्स आर सिंपली मिस्टेक्स दैट आर गोइंग टू कॉस्ट यू योर मार्क्स सो इफ यू आर मेकिंग अ मिस्टेक इट इज डेफिनेटली बिकॉज यू आर लैकिंग द कंसेप्ट सो गो बैक टू योर नोट्स रीड इट अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट मे बी डिस्कस इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड देन गिव द एग्जाम अगेन नो मिस्टेक्स आर सिली you are lacking in concept so go read notes now let's talk about discussions if you have a group of friends that study together discussions are going to be a very good weapon at your arsenal discussions help you analyze your own understanding of the topic plus teaching a topic to your friend is like reading it twice so if possible try discussing the topics with, with your friends if not just discuss them with yourself maybe in the mirror or maybe try taking a youtube video or just write rough notes of it anything goes It's all right. Don't feel like you're missing something out of your studies if you don't have a friend for discussion. Now, lastly, why grant test solve कर लिए subject wise test solve कर लिए how to analyze the scores. Make sure you make a graph of all the scores that you're getting, especially if it's a grant test, so that you can track your progress. Tracking your progress and looking at it every now and then gives you a motivation so that you know that you're working on a right track. What exactly is this tracking of score mean? First of all, you need to choose the branch. that you want in pg some of you people may already know some of you people may have a general idea basically choose the top four branches for example my top four branches are surgery pediatrics radiology and medicine after choosing these branches i'll check out the cut off of these branches in the colleges that i desire for example i desire the college gms in nagpur or aims nagpur i'll check out the cut off i'll check out the marks required for cut off and i'll try to aim for at least 30 marks more than the cut off so that i am on the safe side that is more or less six questions extra correct that should give you a general idea of what your score should be at the end of your preparation and that is what you are going to target all throughout the year you don't need to get a 100% score you just need to get enough score to get the seat in your desired college lastly and the thing that we neglect the most is the mental and physical status of our body keep your morals high motivation is something that you are going to need every day and the best motivator is you yourself every negative thought every bad thing you tell to yourself about yourself is going to decrease your score is going to decrease your hard work every positive thing that you share with yourself is going to boost your confidence and boost your productivity so make sure that you always always speak positively to yourself no matter what second thing talking about your physical health a healthy mind resides in a healthy body the more stamina your body has the longer you can sit the longer you can study so make sure you take some healthy walks maybe join a gym or something don't neglect your physical health once you are at the top of the mental and physical health you are giving your grand test you are scoring pretty good you are getting the expected marks that you want you are doing your revisions you are writing your 20th book you are mending your mistakes and life is good that is when you'll feel like the preparation is fun all the best let me know if i missed anything let me know if you want to know anything more this was my preparation strategy let me know if it helps you thank you see you in the next video this is abhijit archive signing out bye bye